You are now tuned in to Peach State TV, where any gym is home. www.peachstatehoops.com. Enjoy the show. Edition of the JumpOffPlus.com. Today's show, as always, guest host here, Kyle Moore. I'm Brandon Clay. Uh, back with our series of drafts. Today we're going to talk the college player draft. Uh, last year, as this year, just loaded with great players. A lot of the players that look to be selected today are kids that were taken in last year's draft, just in a, a little bit different form, a little bit different fashion. We're really excited and looking forward to it. Uh, Kyle, last year you had the number one pick, took Andrew McCautry, who ended up having a great year for the Atlanta Dream. You look pretty smart for that one. Come back to this year, it's the first pick. I'm going to take the same person I took in the first round last year. And if I get the first pick again next year, I'm going to take it again next year. And that's Miss Maya Moore from UConn. Kyle, who you have? I think I should get the next two, maybe three picks <laughs> after that selection. But you know, we'll keep it fair. I'm going to have to go with a teammate, uh, to Miss Tina Charles. You know, who wouldn't? Great, great selection. That she's had a great year so far. Maybe even rivaling more as the player of the year. Uh, and since we're talking size down the block, I'm going to go with Jane Appel out there from Stanford. Try to keep Charles under some kind of check so that we can let more get off and do her thing. Who do you have? You know, I got to go with my girl. I've been, for the next three years, I'll pick her second or third in every draft. Sammy Perhollis from Ohio State. That's my point guard. I got to roll with my point guard. That's a great pick. I'm going to stay out on the left coast. I'm going to go with Kayla Peterson from Stanford. Give me a nice combination, hopefully, with her, Appel, and then more going three, four, five, five, four, three, one, two, three, or whatever. I'm feeling good about this so far, man. Who you got? I got to stay at that same school, go in the neck of Luma K. If I could, I'd take your sister, Shanae, as the next pick. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it in the family. I'm going to go with the neck. You'll have that opportunity the next couple of years as she makes her way out there to Stanford to play alongside NECA starting this fall. Uh, looking and changing gears a little bit, obviously we got a good front court set up there, Carol on Team Clay. We're going to change it up a little bit. I want to go with Andrea Riley from Oklahoma State there at the guard spot. I'll probably play her at the one. The way she scores, I might play her at the two. Once again, versatility is the key. Going with the bucket getter out of Oklahoma State. I got to go with the bucket getter out of Virginia. My girl Monica Wright. You know, I got, got a chance to see her play about a month back. You know, she's phenomenal in terms of strength and athleticism. So hopefully we can get, get her out in open court and showcase it. It's a big time pick. I'm going to go ahead and look toward my bench already, even though I still got a starting spot remaining. Brittany Griner from Baylor. I'm feeling great about my team right now. Matter of fact, the way we're looking, Miami Moore might play the two, Peterson the three, Appel and Griner together, man. Kyle, what you got for I, I, I could counter with Bone, which I'm sure now I give you that idea, you might come back Thank with. You. <laughs> but I feel real strong about taking Shakina Strickland from Tennessee, letting her and, and, and her and Monica Wright feel good about that. Tough combination, and you're absolutely right. And you're going with your wing play, doing a great job. Thinking about when you play, I really need somebody who can stretch it. I'm going to stay in Knoxville. I'm taking Angie Bjorklund, number six pick. Might start, might not. It's not going to matter, man. Who do you have in the sixth round for us now? Okay, I got to count with Griner. So, you know, Bowen was a pick that I talked about out of South Carolina, but you got to take this double-double. She's plays with my point guard all every day, so I've got that good chemistry already <laughs> built in. It'd be great to see Lavender, Perhollis, and Charles. So I'm taking Jantel Lavender. We're going to have a, a similar version to the University, uh, to the USA basketball college team. Okay, that's looking real good right now. Actually looking pretty good. <laughs> I can't even lie to you. But I'm feeling good over here still. We're still rolling right along. I always want to look for a little bit of help in the backcourt if we can get it. I'm going to take a kid who's been giving buckets out at a crazy pace. That's Ms. Don Evans from James Madison, the junior guard. Her, Riley, Bjorklund to stretch it. I think we're okay, man. Who do you got, Kyle? I got to counter you, and I'm not going to be able to counter you with, with three-point shooting, so I got to counter you with athleticism and quickness, keep, keep some ball handlers on the court, go with somebody that can help me switch some screens out on the perimeter. I'm going to take Jasmine Thomas from Duke. She was a, uh, one of our first pro prospects of the week. It's a good pick for me. It's a very good pick, but I think I can do you one better here in the eighth round. A kid who really has brought her game along since we saw her as a high school kid playing with the Essence Summer Program and has really made an impact staying up in stores this year. This is Miss Tiffany Hayes. Gives me a little bit of size on the wing, a little bit more versatility, a two or three kids. She's played some at the point, shown deep range, shown the ability to get to the rim. I got Evans, Hayes, Grimer coming off the bench. Up. Oh, Kyle, what you got for us, man? You got a good team. <laughs> 
And you know, I gotta, I gotta counter that with some, some size, some athleticism, some shot blocking. So I'm gonna go down to Tallahassee and take Jacinta Monroe, probably the ACC Defensive Player of the Year this year. Take Monroe. It's a great pick. It's a great pick. Well, as always, we appreciate you tuning in. He's got 18 more. I've got 18, Clay. Hopefully after the season's over, we'll figure out a way to roll the ball out and get all these kids on the floor together. As always, thanks for tuning in. You can visit us online, www.jumpoffplus.com. Until the next episode, any gym is home.